I understand you have two uh, legally wedded wives. Which of the two will be the first lady major? Major Kuruma, you say you are a Sierra Union. Where is your home? Some of the text messages so far. Any quick reaction to a few before we go for a short music break? Um, the guy that is the, the one that is talking about uh, me being a uh, commander instead of a leader. Um, no, thank you. I don't have to be a commander before a leader. I have been a leader already, and um, I will have to work on that. And I am a legally wedded man, happily married with three children. So don't worry. I always go to campaign well and professional. Don't worry about that. Um, another one that is saying um, the law is being left ajar. Don't you think you should ask to become the first commander? And tribal somebody is talking about tribalism. You have to know that tribalism has been prevalent in this country. There's no doubt about it. Look at the, the uh, Kuruma regime. All the ministers are from the northern province. But probably because the international community has um, strangled the administration some way, somehow, uh, he started stretching his hands to some of the uh, uh, other members of the country. So be, let's don't fool ourselves. The um, tribalism continues in All this right. country. All right, we'll now go for a short break and when we come back, we'll look at some more issues. He is Major Ishmael Sengu Kuruma, one of the aspirants for the position of flag bearer, Sierra Leone People's Party. I am Joseph Iglinda Kapoa. Welcome back to the second session of uh, this interview with Major Ishmael Sengu Kuruma, one of the aspirants for the position of flag bearer, Sierra Leone People's Party, uh, scheduled for March 5. Now, uh, Major, there is this, you know, campaign uh, to review certain sections of the 1965 Public Order Act, you know, especially the one in criminalizing libel. If you become leader, what is your take on, you know, criminalizing libel in Sierra Leone, which to most journalists, to many people, you know, is obnoxious, it's outdated, it's excommunicated, and, you know, people should be moving on. Well, I, I have heard a lot about that uh, Public Order Act. Um, in fact, uh, one of the uh, journalists in California uh, talked about that to me. Uh, but I believe, um, and I'm sure, I, I am totally convinced that uh, uh, the media, um, the IMC, and all those uh, associated with the media sector here in Sierra Leone must have some accountability of uh, unleashing uh, the honest truth to the public. Um, you, you see that most of our journalism here in this country is uh, based on monetary wise. Uh, you give money, you get a, a very good coverage. It is not uh, honestly done, some, some of them. Um, so uh, I think that uh, Public Order Act has to be revisited uh, and let experts sit there and uh, come to a conclusion on what can work for our country. Remember, Sierra Leone was the country first that has uh, newspapers under Sir Samuel Lewis, um, uh, disseminating news all over West Africa. So we have uh, we have recognition for that. So uh, let's make it. Let's continue okay. our, our, our work, uh, our effort on that area. Is Sierra Leone ready for a female president? Do you think? Um, that's left for the Sierra Leonean people to to, to to judge. Do you think? Well. Um, I think Sierra Leone is ready for anybody, whether female, male, it's ready for anyone to lead this country. Now, many people, you know, uh, see the SLPP as elitist, you know, in a country with high illiteracy rate, you know, how can you lead an, you know, all-inclusive SLPP, you know, and even government where everyone feels, you know, a part of? Well, um, I hear that a lot of times. Um, but when push comes to shove, all of us get together and get the job done. So there's no problem with that. What are your honest views from you know, a principled, ethical, and democratic standpoint on the introduction of 50 million loans you know, to qualify for you know, the candidacy of the SLPP leadership? That shows the genius of our chairman, John Benjamin. He catapulted all the candidates 
to bring about such a large sum uh, to not only pay for their candidacy, but to help the party in its entirety. So I don't see anything wrong with that. If we are able to give even more than that, so why not? Major, what difference will it make to the lives of women in Sierra Leone? I will make a lot of difference to the lives of women in Sierra Leone. I love my wife very much. Uh, I love my children. I have all girls. Uh, I believe women should be given the opportunity to do just what men do. Um, I come from a country, I grew up in a country where women are highly recognized. And uh, uh, with all those experiences, I think we could give a lot of more opportunities, better opportunities for women to succeed in this country. They are talking about 30% quota. What would be your... I don't want us to go on quota. I want us to go on uh, merit. So we'll do that on merit. I have seen what quota does in America. Quota uh, hampers hinders progress in areas. So let's give them on merit. Uh, so it will, be, it will be more advantageous. What about the youth? What could the SLPP under your leadership say to them in terms of job provision, you know, employment, in governance and other areas? I am a youth. I am a member of the youth. And I believe the youth are watching tonight. And we have to provide opportunities for the youth, not only jobs, but we have to provide skills for the youth wherein they could be able to generate their own income some way or somehow. So if you see the large number of youths uh, uh, going around this country, the streets of Freetown, everywhere in the country, uh, in search of jobs, it's because of the negligence of our leaders for the past 50 years who are out of touch with the youths of this country. I am going to make that different. I am going to not only provide jobs for the youth, I am going to provide skills, community, uh, uh, technical institutes, schools, and everything, education for the youth so that they will not uh, be lavishing around in the country uh, in search of uh, opportunities that they never have the skill to do. What do we know about your running mate? I, do you have one? I don't have a running mate. My wife is my running mate. I don't have it. I'm just kidding. I don't have a running mate uh, yet. Uh, it depends on the qualities that I'm going to see, the qualities of uh, good governance, the qualities of critical thinking skills uh, on an individual that will qualify that person to stand shoulder to shoulder with Major Ishmael Koroma in um, um, getting the job done uh, to unseat the APC regime. Will it be a he or she? Either or. Let's talk about escalation of prices. You go to the market nowadays. People talk about hiking basic and the price of basic commodities. What would you do to solve the escalation of prices? Well, sometimes you don't blame the, the traders for escalating prices. Um, there is a heavy taxation on the, um, um, on the uh, goods that are coming into this country. So uh, if the prices are way high, we're going to have to find a way to deal with that by price legislation based on the kind of taxes that we are going to levy on the goods and services that are coming into this country. So those are the things that we have to look at. We can't just come and say, hey, you have to sell, uh, you, you for sell tomatoes five cents. No, you can't tell him sell tomatoes five cents. No, you're going to have to watch and see what kind of taxes that, that, that trader paid before he could sell his tomato uh, five cents. And, other, and also we're going to have to do it professionally. In, in sitting together and bringing a more formidable price legislation. Transport, and I think mining, we are some of the areas you actually mentioned, you know, to revamp once you become leader or once you become the president of this country. Now, it is alleged that, you know, uh, mining agreements between Sierra Leone government and the mining companies are fundamentally flawed and inconsistent. How would you address this problem without compromising government revenue? That is a very difficult issue. Uh, first of all, before giving contract to any uh, NGO, how do you call them, those um, con foreign companies, um, you name it, I, I don't know how they call them, uh, before giving them contract, you, the, comp the government has to sit and formulate well what are the pros and cons of this particular contract we are going to give to this company that is coming, coming to deal with our essential minerals. And then we're going to have to follow up with um, the taxes and um, the revenue that they get from these diamonds in order to get our fair compensation into the country. So those are the things that our governments 
with an S. Our governments have been lacking in checking all those things to work for us. Major, in just one word, if you lose the elections, will you leave the SLPP? I will not leave the SLPP. As I said, this is my party. More text messages. Mr. Flagbearer, could you explain your plans for the RSLEF, especially the airport and navy? Major, I like your determination and one quality you have is that you have feeling for your people, but you should join APC, especially Amis, I see here. <laughs> you articulate well, but do you think you can challenge a visionary and dynamic president in 2012? Because talks are not deeds. Don't talk about tribalism because SLPP is highly tribalistic, I see here. Major, please relax. We are not at war. Let humanity be your watchword. You might get a couple of votes. I admire you very much, Major. If your words are to anything to go by, then I will be the first to vote. Can the Major please explain the nature of the brick with the U.S. Army? The election is about 15 months away. Is he thinking of resigning? Major, what assistance are you giving to the APC government in terms of implementing the development projects in the country? You are politically poised for the flag bearership of the SLPP, but are you ready to accept constructive criticism as a military man? If you are talking about tribalism, your tribe dominates the RSLAF. May Allah help you. I like your determination. You are a good leader. It seems that all the aspirants interviewed so far have not displayed any new ideas or solutions to our country's development. What is your own ideas major? Well, I will answer that in talking to the country. Um, Sierra Leone will soon attain its 50th independence anniversary. One may ask what has been achieved since 1961. In the course of that period, as I said earlier, the Sierra Leone People's Party has led for only a period of 17 years, and those years could be referred to as the year of tolerance and democracy. We lost power in 2007 with the APG achieving the, the, the seat of office. The Sierra Leone People's Party has done a lot for this country, and they've been denied uh, opportunity to lead. The reason why is because of the lack of a determined leadership and a well-coordinated campaign fueled by overconfidence. This is the gap that I intend to fill. The Sierra Leone People's Party has an abundant supply of human resource members. We have an abundant supply of human resource, if mobilized, we could not only win elections, but we could build the country. What it lacks is a new face, a face that has never been seen before in the political arena, to tell the electorate that Sierra Leone is at the dawn of a new beginning. With my youthfulness and experiences in the armed forces on an international scale, I will inject fresh ideas in order to recapture this use. Um, I'm afraid I have to stop you there. We have almost exhausted the time today, Major. Thank you very much for being here today. But just before you say goodbye to your viewers and your listeners, what is it that you don't know, and how are you learning it? Well, to the people of Sierra Leone, if you will join me in this improbable quest, if you feel destiny calling, if you see, as I see, the future of endless generations stretching before us, if you sense, as I sense, that the time is now to shake off our slumber and slough off our fear and make good on the promise of all past and future generations, then I'm ready to work with you. I'm ready to march with you starting tonight. Let us finish the job that needs to be done and usher in a new bath of freedom on planet Earth and the Republic of Sierra Leone. Thank you. And in 2012, Thank you. it's going to be Kuruma SLPP versus Kuruma APC. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Major. I think this has been a very interesting interview with uh, Major uh, Ishmael Sengu Kuruma, who is aspiring uh, to lead the Sierra Leone People's Party at a convention scheduled for uh, the 5th of March. Thank you very much for making it to our studios today. We wish you well. We are back tomorrow? No. We are back on Sunday? I am not sure. But then surely on Monday we'll be here with another candidate. Uh, we will not have this program tomorrow, no, we will have it on Sunday. But then we'll be back on Monday with another candidate uh, who is vying for the leadership of the opposition Sierra Leone People's Party. We are you missed part of all of this edition. Join us tomorrow for a repeat broadcast at 2 in the afternoon. There will be a repeat broadcast of this show. Otherwise, you join us Monday for a fresh show with a fresh candidate. Thanks so much to all of you who have taken part through text messages, those who join us on radio. 
Radio FM 99.9, and you have been watching here on Television SLBC Live.